This is Nigeria News Center. Mr. Alamuchi, let us analyze your statement that the Igbo man is the most successful in Nigeria and in Africa, and if not the world. Some people may not agree with you. Some people may not agree with me because of same hatred and jealousness. See, when you see reality and you, turn, you turn your back on reality, then you become not a realistic man. A realist, a realist is a man that believes in the truth of what player. Player, truth as a player. The chief good is player. A man that believes that player is the chief good must actually believe on the truth. See, right from onset, if I analyze Igbo race, we won't live here. Because right now I'm telling you that the most successful man in this kind of administration that everybody is dying is Igbo man. Uh, who is that? Igbo man. We are so different, we are so special. The way we run our business, we are not stealing from the public purse. The most successful man we have no right to dip his hand into the public purse and steal money. Since the onset of this country after the war of 1967 to 1970, no Iboma has involved in public administration, whereby he will have the, the infantry to steal public money. Then after, there are many of them that were at least elected into public offices and they eventually did well. I cite example. During the administration of Obasanjo, the people that ran Obasanjo administration with him successfully are the Igbos. Okonje Wala was there. Akunile was there. He did too well. Chuma Soludo was there. And many, Onogoro, no, Onogoro and Yoruba. Then somebody like, uh, somebody who also like that, who also is from Enugu State. Was a local state or Adia state. He did well. Are you listening to me? All these people, they join forces together with Obasanjo and make out that and make, and make sure that Obasanjo administration was too successful. And Obasanjo will never ever forget in a haste what Dibos, how they helped him, their, their, their contribution to his their success. Their contribution to his success, his administration has no equal in Africa. Ibo man is the most successful. May I choke you? When we talk about history here, Ibo man has started the history. The first Nigerian governor general is Nam Dazik, who is from Onitsha and Ambra states. The first military head of state, and in fact, major general in Nigeria is Aguin Rose, confirmed by Her Majesty, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. He became Nigerian military head of state. During this time, the whole public office agencies in Nigeria were filled by the Igbos. Though we know that the killings and the coup of 1966 counter coup actually maimed and reduced the numbers of the Igbos in the public office, especially in the military. They killed virtually every Igbo officers from the southeastern Nigeria. They bring them down. Yet, they are growing. After the war, I will check, check you that the Tiger and Zeku is from Imo State, heavyweight champion, as in the boxing, Naiboma. Then I want to refer you to Chika, uh, Opara, no, not Chika Opara, this uh, uh, power mic from Mimi. I think his name is Chika Opara. He became heavyweight in wrestling in the 70s in Nigeria, Iboma. I just want to tell you that before then, I think during 18th century, the first heavyweight boxed champion in America is DK. He traces his route to Igbo. DK is Igbo name. It is in the history today. Ask your Gogo. He's an Igbo man. See, I want to tell you that virtually everything in Nigeria, Igbo man is first. First. Best. First. Your man is used in the public office. White collar job. Doing like this. Ask for delivery job. Our man is busy what? Wedding his car. How to what settle scores with your man and Ibo man and other tribes, killing and shooting. Ibo man, what is up to is to come into your region, invest in your region, develop your region, and make sure that the economy of your region pick up. Are you listening to me? For example, I want to tell you what is happening in the southwest. I got the Inji House of Lagos State Economy is Ibo man. If you doubt me, ask Fachola, the former governor of Lagos State. He said, don't sack them, don't oppress them. If they leave Lagos, Lagos will go down. That is Igbo. And it is not only here. I want to refer you to Southern Africa. Go there and see by yourself. If you are not satisfied again, I will take you to Tanzania and Angola. Go to Dar es Salaam. You will find out that if you get to Dar es Salaam today, the traders on state pass, they import the importers in Dar es Salaam. You know where I'm referring, Tanzania. Go to Luanda. Go to Lusaka. Go to Windhoek. Go to Johannesburg. Uh, 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 go everywhere in Africa. I'm not talking about Northern Africa. They are good there. Ibo man is the reason why the Gambians, I have a friend there, are eating a goosey and abono today. They virtually traded on that food ingredients in great quantum. They import, they export in Gambia. Abono and their goosey is today a household name in London. It's because of Ibo man. 
These people are the most successful people on earth. Go to Tokyo. The whole local restaurant in Tokyo, capital of Japan, is being managed by the same Igbo man, and they are making they are doing well virtually. So let me tell you, we don't debate Igbo man. Igbo man is not debatable. We don't negotiate his word success. His success is not negotiable. I'm telling you the what's absolute truth. Which of course, if you like, buy into it. If you don't, Igbo man is still excelling. I'm not begging anybody to believe it. What I'm trying to do is to inform people, the kind of people, the black Jews, the persons they are. We are the most successful people. Let me just say Africa. I must say very thank you, Mr. Arafumbuchi. I think that was a good one. This is Nigerian News Center. Thank you for your time.